Hey everybody, this is Peter. In this video segment, we're going to set up a Cisco switch from scratch with Cisco Helper. So we got our new switch, we're booting it up. So first thing we want to do is obviously <coughs> create a console connection to the actual switch using HyperTerminal or any other application that you guys use. So we're going to name ours console, use COM4 to connect to it, press OK, and then we're going to use bits per second 9600, data bits 8, parity none, stop bits 1, flow control, we don't need any, so we'll turn that off put it to none and then press OK applying OK and we should be on our switch alright so let's press enter we're on our switch okay so now we get our you know default um, I guess command line or CLI wizard type questions in order for us to get onto this nice and easy so would you like to terminate the auto install yes okay would you like to enter the initial config sure we're gonna do that would you like to enter basic system management or basic management setup? Sorry. And we're going to go ahead and click on yes there or type in yes and press enter. Our host name is going to be switch underscore one. You can name that whatever you like, guys. Enter an enable secret. Obviously, make them more secure than this, but we'll make ours easy. Password one, two, three. All right, we're going to put in another password, one, two, three password and enter a virtual terminal password which is pass one two three word okay now um, being a security guy obviously this isn't cool never put in something so easy for all three of your passwords um, but this is a video and uh, we don't want to put in anything you know that we typically use on a day-to-day -day basis so um, don't do this this is just for you know demonstration purposes so are we going to configure SNMP sure we'll do that our community string <clears throat> we're going to leave as the default public another thing you shouldn't do but um, for demo purposes we'll leave it at that so enter the interface name we're going to use so let's just uh, we're going to type in VLAN 1 if we scroll up quickly here you'll see that the default that's assigned to the actual management is VLAN 1 so if we scroll up just quickly you'll see right there current interface summary interface VLAN 1 IP address not assigned yet um, and that's what we're doing right now so that's why we gave it a VLAN 1 name guys so this is for our management port we'll go ahead we'll click on enter or return and we'll put an IP address on this so we'll type in yes to configure one and we'll type in I don't know 192 168 10.220 all right, we're going to have to put in our subnet mask. Default's fine, which is slash 24, and we don't want to enable as a cluster command switch. All right, so this is the command that was, or the command script that was currently created, as you can see. Now, you have three options here. We can go back to the iOS command prompt without saving. We can turn back, return back to the setup without saving this config, or we can save it to NVRAM and exit. So we're going to go save it to NVRAM. All right, we're building our config. All right, so now you can easily shut it off now and say, yeah, that's great. We have our switch. It's got an IP address. But if you have VLANs configured and so on, you want to hit other networks from the switch, your best bet is probably to put on a default gateway. So let's type in enable or EN. Enter. Type in one of the passwords, whether it was pass123 word. Can't remember, but we're going to type in our password, press enter, and type in config T or space T or config terminal. All right, so let's put a default gateway. IP default dash gateway <clears throat> 192.168.10.1 alright so press enter on that we'll exit alright let's just do a quick ping here to see if we're up and running 192.168.10.1 let's ping our gateway it's probably taking a second to establish its connection alright we got a 20% success rate let's try that again all right, there we go. 100% success rate. Let's write that into memory. And that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks very much for coming out. We'll see you next time.